Hey there, and welcome to the NUA channel. I'm Anya, a marketing professional specializing in analytics and automation. And my aim is to help small and medium-sized businesses increase their digital marketing proficiency. In this video, I will show you how to set up granular scroll tracking in Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. And I will also quickly cover GA4 reporting possibilities for this event type specifically. So as you might already know, either from my blog article or maybe from seeing your own reports in GA4, the automatically measured scroll event, uh, which you can enable with the enhanced event measurement, uh, actually only tracks 90% scrolls. So almost the very bottom of the page. Um, and you can see this if you go to the scroll event report, which is in the events under engagement, and you scroll all the way down and you'll see this card here, which is percent scrolled. This is the only event parameter that is carried along with the scroll event specifically. And we see here that the only value we have is 90. So the only uh, scroll depth threshold that it tracks is 90%. So obviously some people might not be used to this as in universal analytics, you might have had 25, 50, 75, 90% uh, as well set up. So as you can see, I've also not set this up for my own website. So if you'd like to learn how to uh, track more granular scroll depth, then you can follow along with this tutorial. Okay, so we need to start in Google Tag Manager. And the first thing that I want you to do is check whether you have the trigger already. So you might have Universal Analytics set up with some events and you might already have this trigger of scroll depth that you need. In this case, you can just use the trigger with the tag uh, for the GA4 event and you don't need to do the first few steps. But if you don't have that set up or you're brand new to Google Analytics or you have a new website, then the first thing you need to make sure is you have the correct built-in variables enabled. So we need to go to the variables tab, then to configure. I have all of them enabled, uh, but for this exercise, we only need the scroll depth threshold, actually not even all three of them. So make sure you have enabled this one. Then the next thing to do is to create the trigger. So we're gonna make a scroll depth trigger for vertical scroll depths. Um, as you can see, it gives you some suggestions. I'm not gonna do 10, but I will do the rest. So 25, 50, 75, and also 90. And the built-in events, uh, the built-in event already does 90%, but we actually are gonna turn that one off. So we need to replace the 90% as well. And you have uh, some options to trigger it on specific pages or exclude some pages. I will cover this as a use case in a second. So name this appropriately, um, 25, 50, 75, 90%. Okay, so now you have the trigger that uh, people who would be using Universal Analytics before would already have this and now we've created it. So we need to make a tag now. We're looking for a G4 event tag. Um, I'm gonna add my GA4 configuration. I have it set up already, but if you haven't set yours up yet, I will have a video very soon, but there's a lot of um, documentation online as well. We're gonna call this event scroll. So we're actually gonna match it to the way that it is on uh, GA4. And the parameter name is this percent scroll. So we're also gonna send the same parameter name. The value will be that variable that we activated called scroll depth threshold. And the trigger is of course, this new scroll depth trigger that we've created. Uh, name your tags appropriately. And save. Okay, so now we can preview it and see if everything is triggering properly. And check the debug in Google Analytics as well. So to go to the debug, you need to be in admin view and then debug view. Your device sh should pop up. Okay, I'm gonna activate the scrolls. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down. So we see that this activated our scrolls. We can also see in the variables if we scroll all the way down what the thresholds are, 25, 50, 75, 90. And we also see an additional scrolls event which is coming from GA4. This is the built-in event and that's at 90%. So we're actually gonna be seeing five events. As I said, uh, you can see the percent scrolled is carried through. 50, 
75, 90, and then we have the duplicated 90 as well. So this is why we're going to need to deactivate the event when we're done. Okay, so that's all good. Um, but what if you have, for example, my 404 page is just a full page and something at the bottom, the footer. So you obviously don't want to be triggering the full range of uh, scroll depths here. So this is where you can limit. So here we see all of them got triggered, even though we don't really need it to. So how do you exclude these type of um, pages? So you will need to, in your scroll depth trigger, uh, change this to some pages where, and this is you, where you would need to activate your built-in variables if you don't have these uh, available. Uh, but this is a built-in variable called page path. So for me, my page path, oh, this is my privacy policy, but okay, let's try it with this. Privacy policy doesn't exist yet, so. Um, and actually we want to do this as does not contain, so all other pages that are not the privacy policy. And then we're going to create another duplicate trigger. So we're going to copy it. That's going to be, does it make sense for 90% only? I guess 90% only. And we're going to remove all the other percentages and page path contains privacy policy, so the opposite. And we're going to add it as a secondary trigger in your GA4 event. So it's going to trigger as an either or. And now we can test it. OK, so our tag is connected. Uh, all of these activated, perfect. And There we go, only 90%. Okay, so you can see here the list of tags that fired and it only happened for the 90% on this page, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm just gonna double check that in here. Um, obviously we're gonna deactivate the duplicated 90, but here we go, just the 90. So perfect. Um, and basically you just include any pages where this, uh, the 90% should trigger on. So for example, a page that's just a full length um, or something similar, or for any reason that you don't want to track scrolls on that specific page. Okay, and now that it is ready, I'm gonna publish it. Okay, so now that we have it published, I'm gonna show you where to actually see this data and how to report on it in GA4. So there's two ways. One is the one I showed at the beginning of the video where you have uh, the reports. This is the standard reports tab. You go under engagement and then events. You select the event that you want to see, in this case, the scroll. And uh, we can see in the real time card, so the events for the last 30 minutes, our new thresholds are appearing here, which is great. Um, this card will not populate because it's just taking the data from uh, until yesterday. So it's going to po start populating tomorrow. And you will see this, this uh, card showing the event counts and the total users. But what if you want to go a bit further and you want to see a breakdown per page? So you want to see how far and how frequently people scroll down for each page, for each breakdown. So with the standard reports, that's not possible. Um, you can create your own customized reports in, this, in these folders, which I will go through in another video. But for the exploration report, I'm actually gonna switch to a client account because I don't have the data uh, to show the breakdowns and how to pull them into the report. Okay, so here I have my client's account and I'm gonna have a separate video about how to do the exploration reports in more detail. But for the purpose of this video, we need to pull in the dimensions that we need. So in this case, it's the percent scrolled, the dimension that is carrying the values of the scroll depth, and the page path or some kind of page dimension, like page location. I'm going to choose page path for the purpose of this. And basically, we just drag the page path to the rows, 
the percent scroll to the columns so we can have the breakdown. It's really like a pivot table. Um, let's have the event count. And we also need to filter the event name to the scroll. Okay. So here we have our breakdown basically per page. So I'm obviously blocking these out for privacy purposes, but uh, there's a breakdown for page and the total event count. So essentially what you can do is you can either look at this data as it is. Um, you can also increase the number of rows, but you can also, if you want to do any further analysis, export it as a Google sheet or a CSV file. And then you can start doing calculations of the drop-offs between um, the different percent scrolls for each page and you can go crazy. <laughs> um, as you can see, the exploration reports can give you much more granular data. So I would really advise to go through them and explore your data. Now for the last step, we need to make sure that we disable the automatic event measurement. So we need to go into the admin view, into the data stream, select your data stream. And then for the event measurement, we want to turn off the scrolls completely. Don't worry, we're still tracking it. It's just that we don't need to track the 90 double. If you don't want to turn it off, then you can just name your Google Tag Manager event something other than scrolls. So you can name it a different name so you can actually see a difference between them. But it's not really needed, so I would advise to turn it off. And that brings us to the end of the walkthrough. So I hope that you now feel confident to set up the granular scroll tracking on your GA4 account using Google Tag Manager. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it and share it so that other people can also find it. Don't forget to subscribe for more marketing and analytics tips and walkthroughs. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or contact me directly on anyway.com. I'd always be happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.